I was going to say, it's not just about money. These women are no. absolutely bothering it. They're leaders in their life. And the one thing they haven't been able to yes. justify, and it's the only thing, is love. And so, yes, we're talking about a super duper small pool of men if we look at money and if we look at height. But if we're also going to look at a man, a man that is not intimidated, has done the work so he's in a healthy masculine as well as embracing um, providing the polarity in that relationship. Who They're also looking for a man who is, is comfortable with taking a leadership role above, even more so, an exceptionally capable woman who is opinionated, well-traveled, got a lot to say about herself, has had a lot of life experience and is ultimately a doer, a planner, a scheduler. And so it's like, where where is the room for that man even if I had the right fit for each one? It's really interesting. It's not just about money. You just have to say that. No, okay. That, yeah. Money was a, it was a, the sort of preeminent one, but it was just any example of more more dominance I think any example of the capacity to meet more dominant women I think in the stereotypically I guess and sexually women prefer to be can often prefer to be more submissive and men and and because they like to be in their feminine you know whatever that means but um they like to be more well more feminine but you 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 are yeah you are right it is it's a fair so what is your answer to these people these women what do you say to them because I think one answer okay yeah. you just said something super interesting and i don't want to let it pass us by is that you you mentioned about submission and the key component in my sexual compatibility company is that these women all the things that we've mentioned in terms of capability financially secure um you know often referring to themselves as very solvent you know all of that stuff. But when it comes to wants in the bedroom, they want to enter subspace. So yeah. what I'm seeing in in a post-pandemic world where people have had a lot of time to explore their desire, whether it's in workshop or at home because they've had a lot of time on their hands, is that women that are bossing it in that way, the majority of the time are subbing it in the bedroom because it's the only way they can think to create balance. 